Welcome back to Perfectly Proofed. Uh, it's super late, but we're gonna do some sourdough rolls. I might be a little saucy, um, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, Thanksgiving, and I'm celebrating tomorrow, but I've been drinking and making my turkey and getting everything ready. So now we're gonna do our rolls. Um, as you know, I've been doing sourdough starters and selling them. So for 25 bucks plus shipping, they could be yours. So we're gonna make some rolls tonight. So I've already fed my starter, Larry. We've all met Larry. Larry looks great. Fed well. Uh, so it's like the same recipe as my video before, but we're gonna walk through it again. So it's uh, 230 grams of uh, well-fed starter, uh, 340 grams of lukewarm water, 600 grams of flour, and two teaspoons of salt. So let's knock that out. Let's go. So as you saw, I uh, mixed in my starter with my water, broke it down a little bit, and then added my flour and salt. And then we're just gonna bring it together. Sweet, so all the flowers combined. See, we got our nice little dough here. So from this step, we're just gonna flip it out on the table. I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, now that I have my dough flipped out onto a floured table, um, it's important to stop and remember that we're having fun here. So uh, no pressure, um, as long as, if your bread comes out, if it doesn't, oh well, we're just having a good time. That's the best thing to remember, so. Crack open your favorite bedroom, beverage. <laughs> so anyways, I have my dough stretched out, right? Or flipped out on the table. I'm gonna flatten a little bit. We're gonna roll. And then with the seam, I'm gonna slightly pinch, okay? Put the seam back on the bottom. Push back down. Flip back up. I know it's a process, but it's okay. Roll back. All right. More time. See how our dough isn't stretching as much? Like it's fighting us. It's like elastic and like pulling back. Is that that's because we've been working the gluten, right? So, uh, so our dough is telling us that it's, it, it's ready. It's ready. So, one last time. And then from here, I'm just gonna make a small ball and pinch it, right? Now that we got our ball nice and, uh, nice and tight, uh, we're gonna let this proof overnight. Uh, so I'm going to take a clean bowl, like so. You want to spray it down really well. Okay. I'm going to put our dough in our bowl. And I'm going to plastic wrap this up. And I'm going to proof it overnight. So, uh, uh, but before we plastic wrap the top, we want to make sure that we want to spray the top. So that way if our dough proofs and touches the top of the plastic, it's not going to attach when we pull off. So you want to make sure you make uh, uh, make this like an hour or two before you go to bed, proof it overnight, and then we'll work it tomorrow night because this is a true like 20 hour proof. So I'll see you tomorrow when I'm not as drunk as I am right now. So cheers. Okay, so unlike last night, not as saucy. Uh, so we're gonna need, our bread has proofed really well overnight. It's been about 12 hours. So I'm gonna take a nine by 13 and spray it all down. Take our dough, flip it out of here. So what we wanna do Stretch it a little bit, right? I'm gonna re-roll it. Okay. 
And then now that we have this really nice, we've reworked it a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into portions. Three, six, nine, 12. Perfect, we wanted exactly 12. So there's a little trick to this that we're gonna zoom in on and I'm gonna show you how to roll. Okay, so we wanna make sure uh, our table isn't like super floured because otherwise it'll like roll and we want the dough to be a little wet so it grips the table. So you're gonna make like a, like a C or whatever, a little cup, right? Bring it around and just work it along the edges of your hand, right? So. I push in with my thumb and I push out with my pinky. In, out, in, out. And what that's doing is that it's like working the dough and pinching it in, right? See that? Push, push, push. There we go. just until it's smoothed out. See that? Here we go. Oh, you're, you're recording? Okay. Okay, now that we have all of our rolls uh, nice and rolled out, you might have noticed some of them like reopened up. Like, see how this one's like, like, versus this, you know. So you can go back through and just retouch up, retouch them up just a little bit if you need to, just until they're smooth, right? So once we got our uh, rolls all nice, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and place them three by four, uh, and then we'll rewrap, we'll rewrap re the top like we did our bowl, and reproof them for a couple hours. So we'll check in it back in in a few hours. Okay, it's been about a little over two hours uh, proofing for me, and uh, they kind of spread out a little bit. I should have used a a little bit smaller of a pan, but I think they're still gonna pop and be all right. At 350 for, I'm gonna shoot for 20-ish, and then we'll check them after 15 to 20. Okay, this ended up taking about 35 minutes, uh, but these look great. I know the color's not like super pop or anything, um, but these turned out a lot better than what I thought they were gonna turn out as. But I'm gonna brush some butter on them, and then top them with a little bit more salt. And this is just gonna help them like soften up and hold their uh, softness over a few days. But these are gonna pull apart fantastic. And I know it's a mess, but like I said earlier, we're doing Thanksgiving today. So these are, uh, these are done just for Thanksgiving. So if you like these, if you made them, comment below uh, and hit me with a follow. Thanks.